and welcome to a brand new show called Your Shout. It's not just a brand new show, it's a brand new channel. This is not the same channel that the Hammers Chat, it's not the main Hammers Chat channel, this is the Hammers Chat Forum channel. So this is where we're going to hear a lot more from you than we do from us. So if you subscribe to this one, you'll also need to click that button down there and subscribe to this one too. Um, what we've asked for are forum members and people that follow Hammers Chat to send in 60 to 90 second clips telling us what you think of the last couple of weeks goings on at West Ham. So we'll get straight to it. The first one up is Ryan Guitar Hammer from the forum and he wants to talk about our new physio. So the last few days on West Ham, uh, the new head physio, Gary Lewin, that's probably going to be one of the best signs we've made in a long time because we've had such an injury crisis over the last few, couple of years. You know, it, it ain't going to help the situation of, oh yeah, this player's going to be less injured. It's just, it's probably my help with bringing them back in quicker time, because especially like players like Reed and Sacco, Carroll, or well, Sacco's still here, they get injured and then we get told they're back at this time. They never are. So hopefully this puts a change in, in, this, in the system of the, med of the medical care over there. Uh, stuff with Ian Nacho. You know, you got websites talking about, oh, we just spoke to his agent, this is the latest, I'm not buying it. Uh, I'm only going to believe it once I've just seen numerous amount of people talking about it and saying this is what's going to happen. And uh, hopefully this all gets done. It's looking good. It's a start, good start. Big season ahead. We need to get this done. Cheers for that, Ryan. He's having none of it. He's not convinced that we are going to sign a new striker until they've signed on the dotted line. And you can understand, really, bearing in mind the past couple of transfer windows, we were linked with all and sundry, but we ended up with Simone Zaza. So you can understand why he's a little bit cynical, whether we'll get one or not. The next video is from Olaswan. He's a prolific poster on the forum, and he also wants to speak about Il Nacho. So we're into the summer months and I'm enjoying the sunshine. Uh, good to see the club doing their transfer business early doors. I think Zabaleta will be a good signing. Two year contract, highly thought of at Man City. So that's the right back situation sorted. Up front does worry me. Ichineo, whatever his name is, that could drag on for quite a while with the image rights situation and also the buyback clause. And also Bashiai could also drag on because obviously they need to resolve the situation with Costa. Is he going? Is he staying? Uh, up front, we do have a few options already with Valencia coming back. Ayu, Carol, Sacco, Martinez and Fletcher. But I imagine a few of those would be loaned out and shipped on. Sacco and Carroll, you have to kind of think of as one striker because they're continually injured and that is a big concern. So I want to see at least two strikers join the club pre-season and good quality as well. Itchy now, it's a nightmare that name. I got it wrong three times, I think, on the cup of tea. Somebody very kindly corrected myself and Gio in the comments underneath and he gave us a system. It's Ian Nacho. Ian? And then a nacho. Altogether, one word, Ian Nacho. There's your system. Apparently, that's the way to say it, but I'm sure somebody will correct me on this. Um, Carol and Sacco, only worth one striker. Hard to disagree with him, to be perfectly frank. When was the last time we saw them both injury free for any sustained period at the same time? I don't know. It's not going to happen, really, is it? Uh, Mark, Mark SB, a regular on the boats, regular on the forum. He's got some things he wants to say. I hope that we can now go and invest in quality young players. Zabaleta is not a young player, but he's a great star. He will help bring, bring on and develop Byron. And now we need, if the rumours are true, somebody like Inieto and Batshuayi to strengthen the squad. If we get them to, coupled with two other younger players who are, who are quality players and that can, who are good enough to start, then that will show us the ambition of the board. And I believe that we can finish in the top eight if we bring in quality players uh, of, of, of that nature. So here's looking forward to next season. Here's looking forward to the new young players coming in in the summer. And I can't wait to see you all again on the Hammers Chat boat in next season. Come on, you irons. And we're looking forward to seeing you too, Mark. And a nice sign-off, by the way. Young players. Everyone wants to know about the young players. Bit of a controversial tweet from old um, the co-chairman, David Gold, last week. And, of course, the under-23s have done really, really well. A little, little dip of the toe from Declan Rice in the last game of the season. But I think we all want to see a little bit more. Well, certainly Billich putting them into the team. And, of course... 
just a few more forcing their way through. But the under-23s are in the top league. They've got promoted. So they're in the top division next season. So that should well be one to watch. This is Jason. Jason's um, handle on the forum is Cheku Time. Clever playing words. Cheku as in, as in check out time. Cheku Time. Check out time. Sorry, Jason. I might have got that wrong. Anyway, he's got a few things to say. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not too gutted we've missed out on Asmid Begovic. I feel as though, yes, he was there for the taking at about 10 million. Yes, I would love to have seen more competition for Adrian and Darren Randolph. But I feel with the priorities on our transfer strategy, which, yes, we have addressed with some of them by bringing in Pablo Zabaleta to shore up the defence and also finally give us an established right back, we need to focus all of our attention on bringing in one slash two, ideally, strikers. Um, I mean... I'm really not convinced that Andy Carroll and Diafra Sacco are going to be fit for a whole season, or if Diafra Sacco is even going to be with us at the end of the summer, please let him be slowly ushered out that door. And um, lastly, we need another creative midfielder to complement Lanzini. We we haven't had that since Dimitri Paye, and I don't think we properly addressed that by bringing in Snodgrass, but I would love for him to prove me wrong and step up to the mark after a full pre-season and get his head under and fully adapt to the West Ham way. But all in all, good transfer market so far. Just keep powering through and get some targets over the line. Cheers for that, Jason. Uh, Sacco and Carroll again. Oh, then Sacco, get him out, he says. Give him the elbow. Give him a chop. He doesn't want any more of it. Do you feel the same? Let, let us know. In fact, you don't even have to just let us know in the comments. Ping us a video and then we'll put your view on. We'll do one of these every couple of weeks. So we'll get your views on here and, and just, you know, we'll just find out what everyone's got to say. This one is JP Hammer. JP Hammer, who is John, and John wants to talk about the first couple of fixtures in the season. Of course, just a, but you know what? I'll let him tell you. Right, so the fixture list is out just under two weeks, June the 14th. We've had a really good pre season so far. Um, Zabaleta, perhaps in Inacho, and got Gary Lewin in. We need a good start to the season. However, we have got our first three games away from home, as we all know. And then we've got international break on first home game. It is so important we've got points on the board going to that first home game because after the season we've had at home, we don't want any unrest settling onto the pitch or into the ground if we were to lose that first home game or if we're not to have any points leading into it. So, what would be the perfect first three away games? Well, perhaps Tottenham because they're going to be at Wembley. They're not going to be. They're not going to be the best at the moment. Then either maybe a Swansea, a Stoke, West Brom, Watford, Leicester sort of game. We really need to avoid United, City, Arsenal or any of the new promoted teams because they're going be, to be good at home to start with. I think it was last season Liverpool played the Man U, City, Tottenham, Everton and Chelsea all in their first five away games. Oh, uh, Tottenham's going to be an easy game. Uh, there won't be, all the Tottenham fans won't be too happy with you there, JP Hammer. Let me tell you that, mate. <sighs> Could need a few more of those still, I tell you. Um, having said that, you made some really good points there. Nobody wants uh, to have tough games at the start of the season. The promoted clubs are always very, very good earlier on. Mark told us that he was looking forward to seeing us on the boats. Well, not for a long time, he won't, Mark, because, like he said, three games away from home because of the athletics. Then we got the international fixture. It's going to seem like a long, long time. And that's a great point by John there. If we don't get it sorted, we are going to be miles behind before we've even, even kicked a ball in a home game. Right, let's have a little click here, see who's next. And next up is Shane. I think he's Shane One on the forum. He's joined us. Shane, thanks for this, mate. Shane's actually on his holidays and he still sent us in a video. That's dedication for you. Cheers, mate. Um, just like to say about Zabaleta, um, probably a good signing. You know, we needed a right back last year. We never really got one. And I know that uh, this will probably improve a squad. My concerns... Other than that is um, our youth, and they're not going to get the opportunity. That's my only concern, and that's not just with the, the right back situation. You know, um, I think it, it's you know with the um, youth in general. I'm 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 very much for my youth policy, um, West Ham through and through with, um, with obviously the history of the youth. Um, and so as you know, we've got Martinez going to the strike option. Martinez should should give it give a go. Um, 
who we're going to go for in the summer. I know Ineacho, I'm a big fan. But again, we've got players that are coming through. But, you know, we, we are going to um, improve the squad. Uh, I think, you know, I'm quite happy with what's going on with the club at the moment. Um, I think we are going to move forward. This is the, this is the time for next season to, to put the things that, that they let us down from, from, from the last season and make good because I think... You know they promised us the um, what was it? They, they you know they they dangled the carrot. Now it's time to put things right. So again, um, you know, hopefully this year uh, we're going we'll, to uh, West Ham and, and the board will get it right. So come on, you ones. Cheers, Shane. And Shane is not happy with how the owners have been dangling their carrot. That's for sure. And he's also I don't think anybody. Everyone's struggling with Ianacho. Ianacho. See, I just did it again myself. Ianacho. Oh, I don't know. We never had this problem with Denver Bar, did we? Only two more left. Um, quite a nice one, yeah? Hello, I'm Emily, and I'm speaking on the behalf of Tone Loke. What I like is that we have signed Zabaleta and Gary Lewin. That gives lots of time to get to know the squad. The stadium looks really nice, and I'm looking forward to going next season. Bye! Come on, you Irons! I like that. I like that a lot. Very good. You're very welcome back. And she's not on her own. Hello, I'm Lily. I'm speaking on behalf of Tone Lake. What I don't like is David Gold tweeting all the time. I wish he just put a sock in it and get on with real business. Hammers, bye. <laughs> Naughty boy, David Gold. Naughty boy. Um, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what, they can come back next time. Tone Loke, they were they were sending messages on behalf of Tone Loke. For those of you that don't know, Tone Loke is a regular member of the forum. Tone Listen, next time you want to get your opinions over, don't send your daughter and your niece to send me in videos. They're very welcome. They can send their own ones. You give us your opinions yourself, mate. Right, that's about it from me. Uh, if you didn't get the video in this time, I had a couple. This is the this is a, a pilot, really. It's the first time we're trying it. I had a couple. I got them through the email, through um, Gonzo Hammers Chat at gmail.com, which is where you need to send the videos. I had a couple sent over by Twitter, and I've just found them quite hard to extract the video to get them onto here, so I'm going to need them from there. So particularly, Scott, apologies, and apologies if you sent them later and they didn't get on here, but obviously I needed to sort of stitch it all together and get it out there. But I'll be aiming to do one of these every two weeks. As I say, we've got quite nice plans for this channel, and we're going to keep it tied to what we do on the forum. We have a lot of... A lot of fun on the forum and we play some games on there. So next season we're going to be doing a show on our prediction league, which will be revamped and upgraded. And also we'll be playing fantasy football, we'll have a fantasy football league. So I want all you guys to join in. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be tallying it up live and then, and then putting all the results up there for you and tying it in with the, the threads on the forum. Now, this is going to have a thread on the forum as well. So I'll pop this on there. So as I say, either leave a comment on the forum, come and join us, come and have a chat. There's always somebody having an argument over there, but they're mostly a friendly bunch. And please do, as I say, subscribe, uh, put a little thing there. Just, just press that, whether you're on your device, your phone, your laptop, your pad thing, um, push that button there, that will subscribe you. And then the next time we do one of these, it will just ping up in your notifications and say, um, your shout is up again. But please do send those videos in and please do check out also, we've just hit 5,000 subscribers on the main channel. We're absolutely chuffed about that. Thank you to everyone who supported us. We've got videos coming thick and fast on the main channel as well. So yes, until next time, thank you very much for watching and thank you for joining in on your shout.